Hi, YouTube family. It's that time again when we talk about monthly favorites, and these are for me. I have been really enjoying makeup this month because I have felt so much better than I have like in the past three to four months, honestly, though, you know, once springtime came and I got all of my infection healed up, I was just feeling so much better. So I've been enjoying makeup a lot and was able to wear it a lot more than I normally have. And yeah, I just got into my collection a little bit more and really haven't been buying a lot of new things. So I don't have a lot of new things, some things that I did buy like during the 21 days of beauty, um, that kind of thing. But really I haven't just like been on buying sprees at all per se. Let's get into the products. First of all, off of Amazon, I got me a new makeup bag. It's not anything expensive or anything like that. But you guys, this one is so fun. I've been putting my, ma my everyday makeup in here, except for like my palette. And that is what I've been carrying around. And it is so nice. It's got a really deep pocket right here and then a mesh pocket back here. Hopefully you guys can see it. A mesh pocket back here where I carry like my eyeliners, eye gels, eyebrow stuff like that. And then right up here, it holds a bunch of my brushes. It doesn't hold my really big ones, but it holds my eye ones and my blush and um, bronzer and stuff like that. So I've really been enjoying this. I think this is what I'm gonna travel a lot with this summer because it is deep enough to carry, but it reminds me to not take so much makeup with me. I can fit a good amount in here, definitely enough to do my whole face for several days, but it reminds me to not, you know, put like four blushes in there and just, you know, one is enough. So I do like the size of it. I like how cute it is with the green and then the peach on it or the pink on it, the hot pink on it. It's just, it's super cute. And I'm really glad that I got it. It was from Amazon and I'll make sure I link that for you. The next thing I wanna talk about, I have been loving to death because it has been hot all of a sudden here and my makeup will melt away if I don't spray my face. And I spray it heavily with this. This is the Scandinavia, the makeup finishing spray. This is a huge bottle. This is eight fluid ounces. So it is a big bottle. It lasts me forever, but I love how fine the spray is. And you're not gonna be able to see this on camera very well but I do like how fine the spray is. It doesn't like drench your face with droplets or anything like that. But this makes your makeup stay on all day, all evening. If you're out in the heat, whatever, this is really good stuff. Now, I have been told, I cannot back it up because I've looked everywhere to try and corroborate this, that this is the same as the all, uh, Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, that they're manufactured by the same manufacturers, just bottled for different companies. Can't 100% say that but I would say that it performs exactly like that. You get a lot more for a lot less price and I usually can find a coupon for this almost all the time. So love that stuff, you guys. From Maybelline, this is their 24 hour super stay foundation. This is such a good foundation, you guys, for summer. I have been loving this because this has some mega long lasting power to it. And the other thing about it is it is a full coverage, but it doesn't feel like full coverage. It doesn't feel heavy on my skin. It doesn't accentuate any of my texture, wears really well. So I just, I've been really enjoying it. I'm probably gonna have to get it in a darker color because um, I'm doing some self tanning now, but really have been liking that. Okay, you guys are gonna think I'm silly and funny from Wet n Wild. Do you guys remember this palette? I just recently went to Amazon and I bought this palette again from Wet n Wild. I love this palette, you guys. This one, and then there was another one. I can't remember what the name of it. I'm sure one of you guys will tell me, but this is called Petal Pusher. This was before they redid all of them. And I love it because there is just, there's my purples in there, but, but you've also got the pinks and you've got the darker color that you can smoke it out with if you want to. I really like this. I like the formula of it before. It just, it's a good palette. It's kind of along the lines of being a little bit more cool toned than everything that we see today. And I think that's why when I saw it, I was like, I need to go get that again. And it was just a few dollars. So I was excited to get it. Um, it's one of those nostalgia things, I guess. So I did, have been enjoying that one. Also from Too Faced, the natural face. This is their um, face palette. You guys, I think this is probably my favorite Too Faced product ever. I love this packaging, first of all. It, the packaging is the raised up embossed. It's just the presentation of it is absolutely lovely. I love the gold accents on it. Really nice mirror, doesn't distort or anything like that. But the products in here, you guys, are, they're just very unique. 
there are three mattes and then there are three shimmers in here and there, there's a bronzer color down here that's matte and then there's kind of a blushy bronzer color right here that is a shimmer and then you have these two highlights over here this one is a dual chrome down here and then these are blushes right here it's just a really beautiful palette i have enjoyed working with it it has been one that when I reach for it and I use it, I can either swirl everything together and it just makes the most gorgeous blush, or I can pick out whichever color that I feel like goes with the look that I'm going for for the day. And the highlights on this are so beautiful. Blendable and creamy. I I really, really like that. And it does have that little bit of vanilla-y, chocolatey smell that you get from Too Faced and from Tarte's products. I could put this in my makeup bag like what I just showed you and never take any other thing out for blush. So if you're looking for a really good blush palette, this is another one that I really highly recommend. I went to TJ Maxx the other day and they had this peach blur powder and it was like $12.99 or something. I think it was like $30 when it first came out. It does have a little bit of the peach smell. It's not overwhelming like I felt the peach palette was a little bit overwhelming. But this powder is really pretty. This is not a matte powder though. It has got a bit of a sheen to it. Not a ton, but just a bit. So it's got like a brightening effect to it. You can't even hardly see it, but it is very brightening. I was trying to put it underneath my eyes for a while because I thought the peach would be good, but I didn't quite like that for my skin tone. But I bet if you lean towards the warm, on your skin tone that it'd look beautiful underneath your eyes. But I've just been using it just for a little bit of brightening on my cheeks and have been really enjoying it. And again, the packaging is luxe. It's really nice from Too Faced. Um, but that's actually not why I bought this particular one. I did want to try this blur powder for a long time. Wasn't able to afford it until I got it at TJ Maxx. So I'm glad about that. Also from Sephora, I got this quite a while ago, you guys, but since I've been self tanning, I have appreciated this more and more. This is the Sephora contour and I'm going to read to you what it is. It's called second chance. If you are a, a neutral to cool undertone for your contour, this is, it looks so muddy, doesn't it? It looks so muddy and so gray and it is, but that's, what's great about it. If I use any sort of a, um, a warm color right under here underneath my cheeks then i'm going to have it looking not like a contour i'm going to have it looking more like a blush and that just doesn't work for me so let me show you how deep and dark this is and how muddy it really does look but that's what you want when you want and when you're looking for a color to contour with especially if you have the the cool to neutral undertones because i have this all over my face and you would look at it and go no way you have that all over your face, but I do. I did all of my contour with it, my jawline, my cheekbones, up in my hairline. And I find that this color is the best color that I have ever found for any. Even I was using the NYX little one in taupe. It's the little blusher in taupe. And I thought that was the greatest, but when I found this, it was like, whoa, thank heavens. Finally, I found the perfect shade because you do want it to look receded. You do want it to look a little bit muddy. That's what a contour does. It recedes. Whereas, you know, if you're highlighting something, it brings it to life or it brightens it. So this has just been the perfect thing and I highly recommend it for your contouring color. Okay, I want to mention that since I've been growing eyelashes like crazy because of the eyelash serum, serum that I put in last month's video, I have been in love with my eyelash curler and this one is from Shiseido. I've said this before and I'll say it again, not all eyelash curlers are created equal and I finally figured out I think why. This one does not have so much of an arch in it right here. So when I put it up to my eye, instead of going like pressing on here because it's arched too much, it doesn't do that. It actually gets down to my eyelashes and then when I close it, it doesn't pull on anything because it's not already, you know, pushing on this part of my eye on each side, if that makes sense. <laughs> I hope it does. And yes, I do think this is around $20. But for me, it was such a good investment. I got it one time during Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, but I have been so glad that I had it because it curls my lashes so well. Whereas before I always feel like, felt like I was tugging on my lashes as I was curling them. And I never felt like I could get way down there close to the lash line yet this one lets me. So I am absolutely in love with my eyelash curler. You will see it come up over and over again throughout the years as I taught, as I have it. It's one of those ones that I just feel like it's top notch. Um, okay, so eyelash primer. This one is from Essence and it's called Volume Booster Lash Primer. It's not anything, you know, wonderful to, you know, write home about or anything. It just looks like your average 
mascara wand, but with the Lash Princess in the green tube, which I love, well, black with green on it, I love that stuff. However, I was finding that it would flake part way through the day. When I wear this underneath it as a primer, it doesn't go anywhere all day. So this really has proven its worth as far as keeping my mascara on, but it's not hard to take off at night either, like some waterproof mascaras can be. So in. this is doing the job. I recommend that you go ahead and you go take a peek at it because I think it's only $4 and well worth that $4. During Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty from Lipstick Queen, I got this lip gloss and this is called Altered Universal Lip Glaze. And I'm gonna try and find what the color is. This one is called Asteroid. I love this gloss, you guys. It is not like the regular clear glosses with just a little bit of sheer sheen in it that you get it actually has a ton of sparkle and chromatic effect in it and i just think it is so pretty and yet it really doesn't flash a color on you when you're going for other colors on your lips so you just put it on top and it kind of just takes on that look but it gives you that high shine really juicy pouty look it's actually what i have on today with my lipstick so Really have been enjoying that. And speaking of lipsticks, this is the one I've been reaching for. It's not the one I have on, sorry. But this is the one I've been reaching for all month. And this is Maybelline's Blushing Pout. I love how blue pink that is for a lipstick. But it goes on and it feels like heaven on your lips. It is very creamy, very comfortable, which I love about it. But I love the blue pink. It just is so good for my looks as far as what I want to go for in the summertime and how bright I'd like my lips to look. And that just gives it a lot of life to my lips too. So really have been enjoying the color on it. Love the formula of the Maybelline. I just talked about that very recently in a video, but yeah, that is one of my favorite things. Okay, last thing is not a makeup item. This is my big daddy mug that I use. I think this is a 32 ounce mug, but it is one of those insulated mugs. And I use this during the summer because I have to have cold drinks. I, I don't know, I love ice in my drinks. I love cold drinks, but this will, you put ice in it in the morning. You have it all day long, clear until the next day. It's gonna have ice in it. And I love that about it. The other thing that I buy is these big, huge um, silicone straws, which I like too. And I buy them in a package and then you can just throw those in the dishwasher. You can't put this mug in the dishwasher. You can put the lid in there, but you can't put this. You have to hand wash it, which doesn't bother me. But I really have been enjoying having this. The other thing I like about it is it measures out my water for the day. I know if I have two of these, I've done my water for the day. I wanted to mention since it is getting into summer and everybody is you know wanting to stay hydrated go ahead and try one of these and i'll make sure i link them from amazon but they're so good i think the one on amazon the other one has a black bottom but it's basically the same thing and yeah i think you guys will really enjoy having this mug so that's it for today's video i hope that you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up if you did don't forget to tell me in the comment section the things that you guys have been liking for the month you guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate all of your support you know how much that means to me and i hope that everybody is having a really great day please take care of yourselves i love you very much and i'll see you all in my next video Bye bye